Jonas Stenstrom here reporting from Singapore for this video, which is a bit of an odd one. You see, when we first got here, we soon realized that there's one particular fruit that everyone needs to know about, whether they like it or not. It is the durian fruit, also known as the king of fruits. So we decided to figure out what the deal is all about. Here in Chinatown is a great place to buy the durian fruits, but you hardly ever actually see anyone eating it. And that makes you wonder why, doesn't it? So I'm gonna try and find some people and see what they think durian fruit smells like. Uh, it's indescribably awful. Yeah, just kind of rotting. I don't know, I, I feel like <laughs> There was association of garlic, strawberries, and uh, human feces together. Chemists have for a very long time tried to distinguish the different chemicals that make up the odor of this durian fruit, which is very, very distinct. And it wasn't until recently about 40 different chemical compounds were described. The scientists used gas chromatography to break up the smell of the fruit into its individual chemical components. The smell was picked up through one end, the chromatograph analyzed the mixture, and kind of sent out the odors one by one for an aroma expert to record the separated odors at the other end. Let's go through some of the major groups of chemicals that they found. Let's start with the thiols. Thiols are very similar to alcohols in their structure, except that the oxygen atom is replaced by a sulfur atom. So sulfur has a very important role in this distinct smell. One of the more common ethyls found in durian was ethanethyl. The smell of ethanethyl is not a pleasant one, resembling that of onions and cooked cabbage. And we can detect it already in very small concentrations. And because of this, ethanethyl is sometimes added to butane and propane gas containers, making it easier to smell dangerous gas leaks. In fact, according to the year 2000 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records, ethanethyl was the smelliest substance available. It's definitely not hard to understand why. They also found methanethyl, which is not a whole lot better with the smell of rotten cabbage, and one of the chemicals responsible for the smell of bad breath and passing gas. But not all of these chemicals were bad smelling chemicals, like the esters for example. Esters are chemical compounds that have what is called a carbonyl group linked to an ether. Sounds harder than it is. It looks like this. For example, many natural and artificial flavors and smells are esters. Durian fruit had a mixture of all of these and more. Clearly this fruit awakes a lot of different opinions because just by sitting here and filming this, I get a lot of people coming up and uh, giving their comments on the fruit. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people love the smell, some people hate the smell, but they all agree that this is the king of all fruits. I hate to waste food, but I can't bring this home because durians are illegal on all forms of public transportation in Singapore. So, uh, a little rich though. I don't think I can take any more. So just as a reminder, Untamed Science is actually a collaborative effort between a lot of scientists and filmmakers. Now, if you haven't seen more of our videos, check them out. And if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel because we have more videos every single week.